hello everyone welcome to my channel Evelyn's 3d shop and also welcome to this second video of the tutorial of how to export and import physics simulation from blender to unreal engine on this video we're going to see the physics simulation of cloth now i'm going to show you some of the things that you can create with the cloth simulation an example is this simulation a sheet falling or a fabric sorry falling onto these toiletries you can create pillows blankets like this one or this one right here beddings And this one right here depending on the frames that you put over here in cache you can see here the frames the variation of the simulation will change if you put less or more it depends on what you want when creating a cloth simulation you can play with it until you get the result that you want all right let's continue as you can see here i already have ready the simulation that i'm going to export on this video to show you on how to do it the file that we're going to be using is alembic file i'm going to run this simulation so you can see it there it is great just like in the other video where i show you how to export the liquid i'm not going to show you how to create the cloth physics simulation this video is when you already have your simulation ready and you want to export and import it to unreal engine so the first step to make a successful export from blender is that we have to make sure that our simulation is already baked so we click on our cloth which is this one in my case and we're going to go to the physics simulation tab we're going to scroll down to cache and as you can see here I already have it baked the other thing that we have to make sure before we export is that the frames that we have here 45 is the same one that we have here baked as we can see they're both the same all right so we're going to click a in the keyboard to choose all of the meshes because we need all of the meshes here of the models and then we're going to go to file we're going to go to export and we're going to choose alembic we're going to store the file here we're going to make sure that the scale is 100 otherwise in unreal engine we will not we will not be able to see it we make sure that the frames are the same as we have here okay we picked selected objects only in case that you have another objects in the scene we continue going down we're going to click face set so that in a real engine we have the option to change the materials to the ones that we want not necessary to hit triangulate and we can unclick export her and export particles as you can see I already have all the options ready now we're going to export alembic and then we go to unreal engine and we click on import here is the file we're going to open and here in import type we're going to change it to geometry cache we can click this one if you want to it's not actually necessary we we'll continue going down we're going to hit in here create materials and in conversion we're going to change this to Autodesk 3ds max 
okay all right looking good now import as we see the file is not corrupt okay so the shaders are compiling we're going to put our new physics simulation file in here all right we're going to hit play and we can see our simulation because it's dark it's a little bit hard to see but there it is okay let's click ESC to change the materials to the ones that you will like you just have to click on the geometry cache file in here in a real engine and then you scroll down to geometry cache you will see the materials section you click on this row arrow sorry and here is the option to change the materials because it's too many I'm not going to do that but that's how you export a physics simulation from blender to unreal engine in case that you have a physics simulation that you actually you don't want to export it as a simulation like for example the pillows that I show you you don't want to export the simulation itself but you want to export the pillow then you can go here on blender you go to the modifiers tab and in here you will see in the cloth the option of apply first of all you have to change this to the frame that you want it to be so for example if I would like to the cloth to be here like for example let's see like this like this I just have to then go to modifiers and then we click everything which is everything with the A in the keyboard and in here it's not necessary to export it as Alembic we can also export this as FBX GLTF OBJ Colada however you want I'm going to export it as FBX so we're going to in limit 2 we're going to click selected objects custom properties in case you have custom properties that you would like to add in geometry on smoothing we're going to choose phase tangent space and that's it we have everything we need export FBX and then in here we're going to export the FBX I'm going to create a new folder so it doesn't mix up so it doesn't get mixed up with the Alembic file import totally resigning all right so we have here the FBX import options we're going to click in here we could create an LOG group we could assign it if we would like to in import normals we're going to click on import normals and tangents let's see create new materials over to the scene alright perfect so import all and we're going to bring all the meshes into the viewport and here it is our cloth just as we have it here in blender as you can see all right hope that you find this video useful and that you are able to enjoy it if you did please don't forget to give a like comment and subscribe and if you have any questions or any comments recommendations or another type of tutorial that you would like to see and if i'm able to help you with i will gladly assist you with that okay have a great day or night bye